It's time for Country Kitchen Mail Call, brought to you by Nikki's Tiny Piano and Our Three Hands. Now, on the Country Kitchen Mail Call, we get so many people that are asking questions. I'm going to start sharing that. If we use your question on the air, we will send you something, a special gift from Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen store. Now, one of the most commonly asked questions, and we've had 15 gazillion of these, and this is from Beverly, what happened to your arm? 30 years ago, I was in the Marine Corps, and I didn't have a whole lot of money. My only source of transportation was a motorcycle. I slid on a surface of a road where there was some loose gravel, went down, went under a guardrail, lost the use of my right arm. My right arm is still here, but I don't have any use due to extensive nerve damage with that brachial plexus injury. That does not keep me from doing too many things as you have noticed. Now, Ron Damico, where do you get the cream to make butter? What do you use? Now, I'll tell you what, you can get cream. You can go to Good Foods and get cream. You can get heavy whipping cream, that type of thing, and just shake it up until you have the best taste of butter you ever had in your life. Naomi Rollins wants to know, how do you clean your salt block? Now, kind of think about your salt rock as a cast iron skillet. You want to get that nice brown patina on it, but just scrape it off. You don't have to ever use water on it. You don't want to use water on it. Just scrape it off, brush it off. You're good to go for the next round. A lot of people are asking this question. Judy Criswell wants to know what kind of heating device are you using? Those are just little portable butane gas heaters. You can find them at Sam's, different places online. It takes a little butane can, you stick it in there, fire it up, and you're good to go. There are many ways to reach us on Country Kitchen Mail Call. First of all, timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. Click Contact Us and you will. Also, Facebook page. We love to talk to you on Facebook page and we love, absolutely love, old-fashioned things. So don't forget Snail Mail, P.O. Box 1032, Danville, Kentucky, 40423. But that's being said, let's talk about what's going on. Very interesting things have happened over the last couple of years. The biggest thing I can possibly tell you is KET, September 13th. KET1 has moved us to a seven o'clock Saturday spot. We so appreciate that. And you know what? We have had folks from outside of Kentucky want to take our show and make it more of a national thing. We don't want to do that. We're happy right here in our home state. And guess what? The folks outside of Kentucky are watching us out in California, Texas, all over. We appreciate very much the viewership on YouTube as well. That being said, YouTube is growing and growing and growing. If you haven't seen a particular segment that you want to watch, go on YouTube. And we have a hundred and some videos there that are growing every day. All right, drum roll please. Here are our top 10 episodes on YouTube. First, Old Time Hog Gillen, Cowboy Campfire, Curing and Cold Smoking Bacon, Making Cheese the Old Fashioned Way, Building a Pig Pen on the Farm, Raising and Butchering Rabbits, Making Butter the Old Fashioned Way, and if you keep on going, you see more Cowboy Campfire Cooking, Raising Hair Sheep, Tasty Rabbit Recipes, on and on and on. You know, we do things the old fashioned way, but the technology that we can use today to see what you're liking tells us that you're liking the do-it-yourself type things and the recipes. So we're gonna continue doing what we're doing a little more do-it-yourself type things. You really seem to like that, so we're gonna do that. 